Hello and welcome back to another LNER 377 video and today we have the Backman class 47 um, so let's jump into the review so let's have a look at the box oh the other side so here we can see um, it's class 47.4 and the number is 47436 and it's in the BR Blue Large Logo livery. And it's um, 21 pin decoder to DCC chip it. Um, the box, yep, yeah, it's really nice, as we'd expect from Batman. Cardboard with um, that nice band down the bottom. And it's a really nice box. And it's also the ice packaging as well. So, before we get into the box, we've got... A nice little brief history. So I'm just going to read off um, a sheet that I made earlier. Um, it's not the full thing, but it should be alright. So here we go. Building of the Brush Type 4s began in January 1962. Their top speed of 75 mile an hour and powered by a Sulzer engine. BR went on to order a total of 512 locos. Um, forming the largest single class of mainline locos in the UK. The top speed would later be changed to 95 miles an hour. Um, and after this, Tops Coding saw the locomotives reclassified to class 47s. But before that, there was called the Type 4s. So, yeah. There are five subsectors of the class 47. You have the 47.0, the 47.2, the 47.3. 47.4, which this one is, and the 47.7s, which were capable of 100 mile an hour. Um, 33 have now been converted to class 57s, and a number have been pre preserved, including the original one. Um, yeah, so let's open the box. So we're going to just slide this out. And then we're going to go like this. So this is the centre box and then get the ice packaging out. And here we have some instructions. Well, these aren't the instructions, but I'll just grab the instructions. Um, yeah, pretty standard Backman um, instructions for the Class 47. That's where all the parts are. Like, some of these parts aren't included, like the jumper cables, cables and that, but... That basically gives you a good overview of the whole, well, whatever model you've got, so they don't have to keep printing loads of different ones off. Um, it tells you how to DCC fit it. Um, general, lights, lubrication, buffer parts, all that stuff. And then to give you a nice little diagram here of all the bits spread out. So there's the motor, the flywheels, um, the cab bits, the body. Yep, and there's the bogies. They give you a really nice instructions. Um, and this, I think, that's just the Batman Collectors Club. Um, that's the warranty service request, um, product maintenance and care, how to care for it, and the project warranty. So let's put all that over there, and we're going to slide this out of the box there we go just going to just place it down there um, let's just get this bag off um, this is the well the bag of um, all the pieces um, we've got I think we've got vacuum tubing I'm not sure what that is I, think it, I don't know where that goes it might go on the bogies but we've got snow plows um, and we've got a spare set of NEM couplers as well. And also, I think this, I'm not sure, but I think it's got something to do with the sound chip. But correct me if I'm wrong. Um, yeah, time to open the box with that clip and open that. And now we're going to, sorry about my hand in the way, and then we're going to lift it out. And put it down on the white sheet. 
all the packaging is over there. And now we can take a nice little look at this loco. Um, it does look really nice from a like a far back perspective. I'm sure it's just only going to get better as we get closer. So this is the BR Large logo livery. It's got the double yellow ends, um, the blue with the large logo, and the nice coloured roof. So we're going to go for some close-up shots now. Um, and as you can see, it is a very nice looking model. Um, first things first, as you'd expect, it has got spring buffers. I do like my spring buffers. Um, we've got metal handrails, which are picked out in white. Um, and then we've got some nice little steps down there as well. And then, I don't know if the camera's going to focus. Come on. got some nice warning stickers there as well there's also a driver situated there in the cab um, what else um, we've also got that very nice intricate cab aerial and the window screen wipers which are separately fitted um, the cab detail is quite nice um, it's pretty detailed with the console and that. Um, and we do have this lovely black sort of band that goes around the window screen. Definitely tops the livery off. So here we have metal handrails, as you'd expect from Backman. Um, I think this is the data panel down there saying what, well, basically all the information about the loco. So class 47 how many tons it weighs and all that um i will just point out the the um well the under frame pieces haven't been put on as this is quite a new model well yesterday i did upload a video on this yesterday but i wasn't very happy with it the lighting wasn't very good so i just took it down hopefully this one's a much better one um, the bogey detail is very nice um, the only thing I would criticize is you could see the copper through there which contact the wheels but it doesn't really matter um, moving along the loco we've got some underframe detail I think if we, the camera can zoom in I think that piece there is the um, the filler cap where they put the fuel in um, yeah it's really nice under frame detail plenty of rivets and stuff I think they're the fuel tanks as well so that's where the fuel's going to be kept underneath you have this typical feature of um, well Batman locos you've got the clips for DC mode whether you want to turn the lights on or off. Um, yeah, we've got we've got more um, warning stickers. We've got some steps going up, and that door, the maintenance hatch, which I presume is where the engine is. Um, moving along, then the bogey detail is exactly the same, and we have also got that very nice blue. Well, the white large logo with the blue background. And you can actually feel that, which is very nice. And we've also got some windows which are blocked out by the big motor inside. At the other end, there isn't much of a difference apart from the light clusters are a different colour. These are clear, but on the other side, as you can see, they're blank. Um, yeah, not much. Um, it does have a NEM coupling, if the camera's going to decide it wants to focus today. As you can see, NEM dovetail socket, I think. Um, yeah. So let's have a look at the other side of this model. It's not going to be any different. So there's the number again. 
in big letters, 47436. Um, yeah. Also, this orange band here is picked out very nicely, and you can feel that again. Um, now we're going to move on to the roof detail. Um, as you can see, I think this one um, has, well, I think that plate is where the old steam heating system was and it's been capped off. But one thing, I haven't noticed that on my other ones, but I will have to check that when I go back in the railway room to see if they've got them. Um, we've got the exhaust right there, some very nice panelling work, rivets, and then we have the panels here, which, um, well that's the engine, so they lift them out for the, to get to maintain the engine. And then these, these, um, these are like, you know the things where air goes through, and then they stick up. Um, and then we've got the fans, which have got mesh over them, which are very nice. And it brings us back to the front. Um, that's pretty much it for this review. I've, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, let's get some little down low shots of it. Um, as you can see, it's a very nice model. Um, yeah, it was quite expensive. Um, my other 47s, they were the bargains. But this one was the standard 47 fare. Yeah, it was very worth it. It definitely looks very nice. So, thanks for watching and goodbye.